guys, welcome back to yet another video, and today I'm going to show you the best way to keep your speckled trout fresh, as well as the easiest way to clean them. Now taking care of your fish and making sure it tastes as good as possible begins as soon as you catch it. When we throw it in the ice chest, we really don't think how big of a deal this could be, but what we really want is actually a water ice slurry. So when you think about it, even if you just place the fish on top, you're only really cooling one side and not the other. And say, oh, well, I stick my fish deep into the ice. Even so, you're still not getting fully consistent coldness throughout the fish. And something else you realize is that a lot of times the tails will actually end up curling up, which makes it more difficult to clean later. By using a water and ice slurry, whenever you just throw it in there, you know it's gonna be fully covered and it's going to actually lay out flat like this. So it's much easier to clean as well. Again, very common mistake, but also with that water, you ensure that the entire fish is cold throughout. It's very uniform. Just make sure to put ice on it if you're in a really hot environment or just have a really good ice chest. We're gonna use the electric blade to begin with, and then we use the traditional blade. It's essentially the same process. All we're gonna do is make a cut at a little bit of an angle down towards the bone, and you kind of feel when you hit that bone, you're gonna lay your knife flat and you're just gonna continue all the way back until you get to the tail. But don't cut the tail off as you're about to see. table as possible and this is going to make it very easy to keep the blade flat and we're going to remove all the skin in one go or most of it. we go we got a little skin on the back but we're going to remove that right now gotta do is a little bit of trimming up along this line to get all that off and this is ready to go for the frying pan all right one last inspection of the filet make sure we got everything there's no worms everything looks good all we're gonna do is simply wash it off a little bit actually heat up until we're ready to cook. That's how we keep the taste of speckled trout, the real truth trace of speckled trout actually entrapped. As far as cleaning the fish now, it's as simple as going to the other side and doing the same process again. Excess. All right. Now, if you catch a lot of fish in the summer and you don't plan on eating it for a few months. 
months time i like to get these hefty bags uh, that are good for freezer and depending on your family size i'll put either two to six fillets in there depending on if it's only meeting them or the family now if you have a vacuum pack sealer i would definitely recommend that over this technique but this is a pretty good way to keep your fresh, fish fresh for a long period of time so all we're going to do is take our fillets and just stick them in this bag and the trick to keeping them fresh is that once we get all the fillets in this bag we're going to run upstairs we're going to fill this bag full of water to remove any air and then we're going to stick it in the freezer and it's going to be a big block of ice which takes more time to thaw but it'll be better protected hopefully you learned something about cleaning speckled trout as well as the best way to just lock in that flavor for a longer period of time and if you did enjoy this video please make sure to share like subscribe for more and thanks for watching